Live from the Dunkin' Latte Lounge. This is kind of interesting. I mean, times are way different, but we cannot let the music stop. And the best thing about music is that it brings us all together. So although we're in our separate places, virtually bringing you our Dunkin' Latte Lounge, I'm Maxwell, and I've got to say she is the number two best hugger. The only reason why is that my mom is number one. We're going to welcome into the stream our girl, Elle Winter. What up, Elle? How you doing, dude? So good. That's such a compliment. Wow. Thank you so much. Number two hugger. Awesome. Yeah, behind mom. So, I mean, that's pretty serious stuff right there. <laughs> I, it's hugs. I wish I could give you a hug. I know. It's so weird this time that we're in now. But, I mean, the thing is, is like I said before, music is healing. And it's bringing together so many people and you as a songwriter, as a performer, finding new challenges. These are some of the things that I want to kind of talk about before we get to the performance. So let's rewind time a little bit because I think quite literally, you may be one of the few people that I hit up when I came back from my trip to Italy <laughs> and we were in lockdown and we were just kind of talking about this before we started rolling. What's quarantine been like for you since February and here we are, the middle of summer? Right, I mean, it's been a long time. It's all, as we were talking about, it's been a little bit of a blur, but I just released my debut EP right before quarantine. So, you know, been just doing different live shows and, and kind of talking about it and connecting with so many new fans, you know, and I think what's been cool about this quarantine and I mean, just being able to, to realize how connected we all are around the world through social media, as I've been getting messages from new fans who connected with my songs and been able to live stream and, and write to each other and, um, and share those moments. So that's been really interesting to see. But yeah, I've been yeah with that technology, learning how to record my own vocals, which has been a struggle. Those are some of the things, yeah, that I was wondering is with that technology, we have all become like IT specialists oh over God. this time here. I know, I really, like, this has been such an eye-opening experience for me. Like, I am the worst with technology. Like, I can barely do a Google Doc. It's really, it's embarrassing. <laughs> but I've really learned a lot during this quarantine. Like, right now, you should see the setup I have with all the microphones and speakers. I'm very <laughs> impressed with myself. And it's really This is so cool. Like, this is so cool. Mind too, you know? I, listen, we came with the backdrop. I ordered lights to come to my house just to make sure that everything um, gave, gave it that sense of that vibrance, that sense of life that I think that we all kind of need. And, and for you to be creating stuff that gives us that sense of life, like you said, I mean, you're creating music. You have already released the, the debut EP, but now working on stuff while we're all hunkered down. Um, how is that challenging? How is that eye-opening? How is that um, fun even creating while we're in this new normal? I mean, I've definitely felt very inspired just being able to have time to reflect and think deeply about different experiences in a way I've never been able to because I'm always you know, on the go and, and just in such a flurry, I feel just, you know, busy. And now I've had this time to sit and really think about different things I've never written about before. And even having these sessions over Zoom, it's, it's very different and a different way to be intimate with uh, another producer or writer. So been just an interesting terrain to kind of explore. Now, I want to talk about you and writing and learning, uh, you know, honing in on your skill even. Uh, you took this wonderful trip to Sweden last time we were talking. I think it was just after the All Access Lounge, uh, right around Jingle Ball time. And I saw you pack up like 97 bags and head <laughs> off. <laughs> Yes, that was, everyone was horrified by the bag. <laughs> what was that like to, to go at, was it a boot camp? Was it just a bunch of sessions? What exactly was that trip and how was that journey for you? Yeah, it was a few weeks of just back-to-back -back sessions and it was really inspiring, you know, to travel to a new place. I find that creates so much different energy and, and um, that excitement really fuels each session. And right now we've been just honing through those records and, and refining them and, you know, hopefully building a larger project is the goal, but it was a really special trip and I'm still very close with a lot of the people I worked with. It's cool. I have like a whole friend group in Sweden now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so cool. <laughs> Had you ever been to that part of the world before or was that your first time? My first time. It was really cold and just a totally different experience. Yeah. <laughs> 
now finding finding those different things to those different experiences to write about to bring those to songs um you know pulling from those experiences and now pulling from these experiences that we're in right now how how cool is it to know that you can go there and you're going there so successfully and and how proud are you of yourself that you're able to do some of these things that you maybe thought were impossible before yeah i mean it is really fulfilling to know that i can have these experiences and channel them into art and actually connect with people based on those experiences that I'm having. And I think that's what, you know, I love about music and, and why I write each of my songs. And, and that's a priority for me, just that I can, you know, show that through three and a half minutes, we actually aren't as different as we yeah. think we are. And we can all just feel a sense of solidarity together when we listen to music. So I think that's just so special. Now, before we get into this performance here in our Duncan Latte Lounge, the virtual Duncan Latte Lounge, let me ask you about Yeah, No, um, the single that we've all connected to, that people are creating TikTok dances to. Like, what is that like to see? As we said before, that you're finding through social media and these times now that we are separate but so connected now. What was that like when you started to see these trends happen and when you started to see this choreography come together based off of this song that you wrote that meant so much to you and so many people giving it its own life? Yeah, I mean, it's really, it's really rewarding to know that you can write about a vulnerable experience and someone else has been there and we can share that moment together and it's just really special. There's nothing like it. And, and being able to perform the song for a bit before lockdown and before it was even out, and people will come up to me after shows and say that they connect to the lyrics and they've been there and we are so different. Maybe we're from totally different places, but yeah. in that moment, we're like, we both share something and it's just, it's indescribable. It's, it's super special. Now with all the choreo, let me ask you, did you take the time on your TikTok to learn the dance or were you just like, I'm gonna let y'all do it? I, I let them take it away. I don't need to, like, I'm gonna butcher it, so I'm not doing that. I thought people do these dances. They're all so good. Like, I can't even do the wow or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm not going to ask you to do that. What I am going to ask you to do is to, well, I got two things I would ask you to do. Keep on, you're the selfie queen, girlfriend. So keep on taking the selfies. <laughs> you're, you're doing very well there. Um, and second, don't, don't leave Sky out so much. We, we need more of her. Oh, you know, I would love her to join the slash. She's just a little crazy. Yeah. She's, she's gone, supposedly these dogs, she's an Australian Shepherd, and they're meant to like live on farms and herd sheep. And we didn't realize this, getting this dog in New York City, that this is not the move. <laughs> she that does not have the, the required energy for a dog. She, she's looking with those beautiful eyes, like, mom, like, really? <laughs> they run like miles every day. Like, that's just what they do. They run in circles all day, every day. <laughs> how, how cool is it and how, how beautiful is it to have a fur baby, a companion, somebody to cuddle up and snuggle up with them? It's really incredible and I was actually I just moved to LA right before lockdown and I'd come back to New York for my EP release and then I ended up not returning to LA because I wouldn't want to be in quarantine all alone and they my family just got on this puppy right during that time so I wasn't actually gonna watch Sky grow up and be with her so it's actually you know I've during this time I've gone to spend time with her and I think I'm her favorite in the family. <laughs> Little blessings. We got to take them when we can get them, you know? So those little blessings. Okay, so in your hand, you got a microphone. I'm talking too much. It's time for you to perform. So I know you got a couple of songs for us. I'm going to shut up for a little bit. I'm going to let you do what you do best and um, bring us into your home. And thank you for, for doing that. I, I really appreciate it. So you've stepped on the actual Dunkin' Latte Lounge stage, and now you're, you're virtually doing it like... You're, you're a two-time offender. I'm loving it, Elle. Oh, I'm so happy to be back, and I'm so glad we can adapt and find creative ways to, to make it work. Well, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tapping in. If you're watching online at Z100.com, maybe you're on our YouTube channel, or DuncanLatteLounge.com, wherever. Make sure you either have your earbuds in or you're connected to your surround sound in the house because this is, this is awesome what you're about to see. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is Elle Winter.
Hey everyone, it's me, Elle Winter, and I'm super excited to be here today at the virtual Dunkin' Latte Lounge. I wanna give a big thank you to Duncan and Z100 for having me. And today I'll be singing a bunch of my original songs off my debut EP, Yeah, I Know, so let's get to it. No, 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 you keep breaking me down, hey. You think you're quitting the crown, hey. But this ain't no competition From a judge, I'm making a decision So do you know who you are, hey? You keep forgetting it all, hey? When I'm stuck left with the pieces You flip the switch for no reason Oh, no, said I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love Trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying to do me what you got to do, trying
seen it in real life not only have i listened to the song on pretty much every streaming platform that's out there contributed to all these millions of streams my bad um <laughs> but also now uh the folks that live around you must be like yeah i got i got a built-in jukebox <laughs> i feel so bad my mom's upstairs working my sister there's no peace in this house <laughs> <laughs> listen they they know they listen they're they're all right they know what they're getting into <laughs> and i bet you all mom's co-workers are probably like yes your daughter <laughs> okay <laughs> no, don't worry let us hone in on yeah no and i want to know what it was like to find that strength because i know 
there's a level of vulnerability that has to be there in order to create this song that meant so much and it's from a personal space but when you were able to go there and to create it and to see it go from start to finish how how happy were you that you were able to go there for yourself and for everyone else who's connected to the record yeah i mean it was a really inspiring experience to go into the studio feeling the way i felt and as i was talking about during the performance this kind of frustration of being misunderstood by someone and i'm so lucky i feel to have music as a space where I can defy people's assumptions and not let anyone define how I should be feeling, how I should be thinking. And, you know, that song was super special to me because it really set the tone of the whole chapter. I went in, I wrote about this being like, this is who I am and no ex, no, 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 anyone, like nobody yeah. is going to tell me who I am. And um, we ended up making it the title track of the project because that's, you know, what I try to do for my music is, tell my truth and set my story straight, really. And that's all that we're looking for from our favorite artists is just that openness, that honesty, and the ability for us to connect uh, to those same emotions that maybe we aren't, um, you know, artistically able to put together. So thank you on behalf of all the fans. Just want to say that. Thank you. And I mean, I, I feel the same way too. Like I'm the biggest fan of music. And when I listen to my favorite artists talk about an experience that maybe I didn't know how to articulate at the time when I was going through it. And to be able to listen to that and, and have the words and have that you know, sentiment and, and know someone else is in it too is, is really special. Let me ask you this, Elle, who are some of those people for you? Who are some of those artists that you're just like on your vision board that you're like, yep, I'm gonna work with you one day, you one day, you tomorrow, and we got a session in Sweden next time I make it back. <laughs> Um, I love Bruno Mars, Ed Sheeran. I'm dying to write with him. Beyonce is my all-time favorite. I mean, right. And all the you know, powerful female vocalists I grew up listening to, like Kelly Clarkson and Britney Spears, Avril Lavigne. I mean, they shaped me into the artist I feel like I am today. So to work with them is definitely on the vision board. <laughs> A couple of more things before we get you out of here in our virtual Dunkin' Latte Lounge. I need to know, um, where, where your mind is, well, I, I, I know, I want to think more optimistically, and, and 2021 is going to be that year that we're finally going to probably be able to dip our, our feet into the live music world again, and, and when you get to be on stage again and performing, I know um, the hashtag was, was trending a, a bit, well, it was let the music play, and, and also that you actually uh, put on your social media, how important is it not only for you as an artist to be able to want to share those moments with us as fans, but also for the family that are there behind the scenes helping you bring your vision to life? Like what did that hashtag, what does this movement mean to you most? I mean, it's really, I, as you know, I've been performing throughout my life, you realize all the moving pieces that go behind a show and there's so much that goes into it. And those people work so hard and, and give their all to each show, crazy hours and, and in dangerous situations sometimes. So I'm just super inspired by them and, I, I want to show my support and and be there for them until we can can be back on stage and, and back at shows in 2021. I know you're excited for that. I mean, uh, can you like in your mind vision what it's going to be like when you uh, get to step foot on stage, no matter what city, what country, uh, just to be able to belt out those few or those very first, I should say, excuse me, lyrics and have everybody just scream at the top of their lungs. I can't wait. I'm counting down. I've been doing these. This is my basement right now, and and the other day I was like. <laughs> I usually have this line, I sing, yeah, no, and then I like walk off stage, it's so much fun, and it's, it's such a fun energy, and I always talk to the crowd, and the other day I'm drinking in the basement, I'm like, where do I go now? I like, like, <laughs> like, okay, let me turn off the lights, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> click, click. <laughs> I cannot wait, yes, I can't wait to get out <laughs> All right, Elle, before we get you out of here, I thought about this before we started this, uh, this session. I was like, let me, let me put together a little something that I wanna call my Q cubed. Q3 stands for quick quarantine quiz. I've got three questions while we're all kind of stuck in this scenario where we've looked at every single wall in our house over and over again but we're all kind of in it together and just hopefully you get these questions right. That's all it is, really. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> First question, all right. Um, oh, I wrote this one down. Should you wear a mask? Yes, you all should be wearing a mask. You know, there's so many different masks now too. I have a bedazzled mask, 
So yeah. It's just an acute mask and you're good to go. Please wear a mask, please. Question number one, she got it right, ladies and gentlemen. Question number one, she got it right. All right, question number two, um, is Hamilton on Disney Plus the greatest thing to happen to streaming television? Okay, it is, but I do not have Disney Plus, and I think I'm really missing out, and I need to download Disney Plus now. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. It's sacrilegious. I may, let me see if I can, like, maybe hook you up with one of mine or something. Please, Girl, please. let me I tell have, you. I have Hulu, I have Netflix, I have Amazon, and, like, Showtime. I can't add another streaming service. Like, I'm going to have to I'm <laughs> nothing done. <laughs> Okay, and the last question on my QQ. Uh, what's an acceptable amount of times for us to go from the couch to the kitchen in one single day? Um, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm just staying in the kitchen. I do everything in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen all the time of the day. It's really a problem. I just don't leave. <laughs> I count down to the next meal. <laughs> it's really a we it's all the, have been there. The basement to the kitchen, really. It's like, I have to go back to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we all have done that. Matter of fact, that's where I am coming to you from my apartment in my kitchen. Like, I love quite it. literally. <laughs> it's already there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, before we get you out of here, I just, I, I just want to say on behalf of all the, the fans, and, and you've, been, you've been like family to us at C100, I just want to say, Thank you again for being you, doing all that you've done and continuing to challenge yourself. And I know we're in these different times now, but finding new ways to be creative, uh, learning new things about yourself and writing from a whole different perspective has got to be one of the funnest um, and, and most rewarding things uh, as well, I assume. So I just want to say keep after it and, and we appreciate every bit of it, seriously. Thank you so much for having me and C100, you guys are my family, you know, being from New York. So I'm, I'm so happy to be able to do this and be here. Well, when we can get back to like doing that hug thing again, you might, you know, I don't know if you're gonna take the top spot, <laughs> but um, I'm really looking forward to my number two hugger. So uh, hopefully if we wear our masks, we can get yes. there sooner than later. That's amazing. Right on. Enjoy the rest of your time, Elle. Appreciate you hanging out with me today. Thank you guys. Thank you iHeart, D100 and Duncan. Thank you so much. Live from the Duncan Latte Lounge, 